Hey guys, welcome to the X-Ring. On today's episode, I got WTF SoCal, Cutter Boy 32. And we are gonna do some long range shooting. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to the X-Ring. On today's episode, what I wanted to do was review a rifle that I think is really, really cool. I see Coda Boy back there. He's making all kind of faces and everything else. And I've got WTF SoCal here as well. But I'm trying to review this rifle. It's called a Christensen Arms MPR. So on a lot of these ruck matches and everything else, and we're running around, we're running around with these 20 pound rifles and uh, looking for something lightweight. And I got it with uh, SoCal and he introduced me to this. And I'm not a big fan of Christensen stuff, or at least I wasn't before uh, with some of the ARs and everything, but this rifle right here has really impressed me. If you guys look at it, you're gonna see carbon fiber everywhere. Very minimalist design. They've spent a lot of time with this barrel. They guarantee sub MOA with, uh, with this rifle. This rifle, it's a 416. It is a hand lapped button pulled rifling in it. So they've taken their time with it. You can see it's got a carbon fiber stock on it. I've got this outfitted with the Night Force, the ATAC R. Uh, this is not a front focal. This is actually a second focal. It's a five to 25, but uh, just made some uh, hits out at a mile with this thing. So there's nothing wrong with the optic or anything like that. We'll do some groups here in just a minute. And let's check it out. Christensen again, like I said, really lightweight. 6.5 Creedmoor, there's a target out there. It's a 12 by 20, so about 520 yards. We'll see what we get. And that's what I like to hear. Guys, this thing is super lightweight. I'll let you guys check it out. We'll do a closer in-depth review of it. Christensen Arms MPR. All right, guys, so there's 18 by 30. It's out there about uh, 820 yards or so. We'll see if we can pop it with this. Here's... Guys, that's 820 yards. That's first shot, first attempt at it. Like I said, this thing just continues to impress. Stay tuned. Thing's solid, man. Something lightweight. All right, guys, so I wanted to interrupt the video uh, just for a minute, just to kind of talk about a few things uh, before we get to the further uh, or the longer range shots. So basically, I wanted you guys to be able to see this thing up close, okay? So you've got a carbon fiber cheek riser here. You've got adjustable length of pull. You've got a really light svelte chassis here. It is foldable. There's a button you can press right here. This folds right in and it locks in with a magnet. Very smooth action here, guys. Really nice M16 style extractor. And I wanted you guys to have some good lighting on it. You guys will also notice that I had the suppressor on here. Now this didn't originally come with a suppressor, of course. It came with this muzzle brake, but what I noticed when I got the rifle is that it jumped quite a bit. And what I mean by jump is when you were in position, you would fire it, it would literally lift up off the ground about two or three inches and settle back down to the left or to the right. So I added the suppressor on there. I just put a silencer co-hybrid on here to get a little bit of weight up front uh, and it helped tremendously. Now what you guys saw was I literally, I was at the house, I did two shots of basically three shot groups got it where it was dialed in. I confirmed it at the range that day. And then that 520 yard shot was the very first shot. It was cold bore because after I zeroed it, uh, what we did is we were down for probably 30 minutes before we went out to that facility. And we, I did one round at 520 yards and then I did one round at about 825 yards. And this thing just continues to impress me. Now, like I said, it is not as accurate as these other rifles, but you got to remember how little of a weight I'm dealing with. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, the next video here, it's going to lead into a thousand yard shot. And then I stretched it all the way out to 1,760 yards or one mile. And uh, it did its job, did what it needed to do. Uh, I will tell you that I did run out of adjustment on the scope for that because this only has 20 minutes of angle built into that base right there. So <clears throat> basically, once I ran full elevation on here, then I still had to hold over about two and a half mils inside of my reticle in order to make the shot. When you look at the video and you look at the thousand yard steel, it is a two foot by four foot steel because it is at a mile. And if you look in the top left hand corner of that steel, you're actually, you're gonna see a magneto speed flasher and you'll see that flash once I hit it. So stay tuned. 
And that's an impact. You guys can see that. No! How much 1,760 was? yards. All right, guys, so that was the 1,000-yard, and it was the one-mile shot out there. And like I said, this rifle had no issue doing it. Uh, you know, SoCal was able to do it, and uh, Coda Boy 32 was able to do it. And it, it was a good time. We had a great afternoon. You know, we had an AI out there. We had this out here. had some other guns out there, and it was a good time. I, I really want to thank uh, WTF SoCal. If you haven't seen his channel, like I said, go check it out. He's got a review on this rifle as well. Uh, but basically, he uh, loaned me this rifle for this, and uh, I'll be keeping it for a while because I've kind of kind of grown attached to it. Um, but guys, this is this is a good rifle. Um, I can't say anything bad about it. Price point's about $2,200, and it uses the AICS mags just like this. This is a five rounder, and then you have a 10 rounder just like this. And like I said, they're mag pulls. You can get them cheap. And you know, I couldn't find any negative reviews on it. I went on the sniper side, and there was one review of a gentleman that couldn't get his to print. It was all over the place. Uh, he sent it back to Christensen. Christensen uh, did 20 round test groups with it and it was spot on. And that's the only thing negative I could find was that one. So I'm pretty impressed with it, especially for somebody that was a little bit, uh, you know, not too impressed with them before in the past. I think they've, they've done a good job with this one right here. What led me into looking for this lightweight rifle was is, uh, I had this rifle. I had this built in 2014. I've won a lot of matches with this. This is a great rifle, but I did a lot of running with it. And guys, this thing shoots tacks. It'll drive, cir it'll ride circles around this uh, Christensen, but it's a quarter minute gun. Um, but it's got sharp edges everywhere. And it was just chewing me up. It was a lot of work within a pack. Had a different optic on it at the time. And of course, then I morphed into the, um, the AI and the AI is great. And it's got rounded edges and everything, real ergonomic. But once again, it's really heavy. It's another 20 pound rifle almost. And so that's why I wanted to look for something lighter. I knew it would jump more, but so far I'm impressed with it, guys. You know, those videos you saw, there wasn't a lot of takes on those. I mean, literally, the 520, like I mentioned, it's it was first shot. The 825 was first shot. The 1,000 yard, it was on it just like that. And like I said, once I maxed out the elevation and we figured out the hold on it, uh, once we got a call and could see a sighter at 1760, it was pretty easy to get it on target. I actually hit it multiple times uh, with this thing. I mean, everyone hit it. So it wasn't too bad. Wind was good for us that day, and we had a great time. But hopefully you guys liked the review and liked the video. I appreciate everyone, and hope you guys like, and share, like, share, and subscribe. Share it with your friends. Tell them about the X-Ring, and we'll talk to you soon. Probably see you at SHOT Show. Have a great week. Take care.